friends, how are you? I hope you're doing great. So for today's video, I'm going to be playing with some new products that I got in my Ice Cream Beauty box. Right here, a lipstick, a blush, a bronzer, and the Ladybug Glow in collaboration with Ice Cream Beauty, the palette, which is called End of the Rainbow. And I'm also going to be doing multiple looks, so stay tuned for that. And if you want to see how I do this look, then keep on watching. Okay, so I think I'm gonna, for this video, for this first look, I think I'm gonna play with the stuff, some of the stuff that I got in my ice cream beauty box for the month of March. And I completely forgot that I had the highlighters and I already set my face, so I can't use this now. But I will use the lipstick. And I'm gonna use now the bronzer and the blush to see how it looks. And of course, the palette. So this is the Ofra Cosmetics blusher and bronzer in one which is called blusher <laughs> which is such a weird name that i cannot roll out of my tongue <laughs> it just doesn't roll out of the tongue easily <laughs> it's a weird name i did a swatch of this in my previous video when i was unboxing the box in case you're interested that's already up in my channel i'm gonna start with the bronzer first gotta put it oh it's very crumbly i'm barely tapping because it's it's very pigmented, it's very loose, the powder. But it's a pretty color. It's more on the neutral side, it's not that warm, but it's not cool tone either. And those are the ones that I like. I prefer those. So I don't really like the ones that are too warm. I'm liking this. It's very nice. It blends out very quickly, very easily. This is definitely for lighter skin tones. If you have, if you're deeper than me, I don't think it's gonna show up that much. I'm gonna go ahead and put some on my forehead. And I'm gonna switch brushes to my blush brush. So I got a quick question for you because I'm super curious about that. Look how, look at it. <laughs> You have to be very, very, very light-handed. <laughs> Do you guys like longer content videos? Or like 5 minutes? Or longer than that? 10? 15? I'm so curious about that. Sometimes when I do a video that's five under 6 minutes, it gets more views. <laughs> and if I make them a little bit longer, it doesn't get any views that much. Unless it's like going into stores and shopping a shopping vlog those get views but when it comes to makeup I've noticed that the shorter the video the more views it gets so I'm genuinely very curious to know and it's okay if you like shorter content I just really want to know that way I'll know if I have to shorten the video more or keep it a little bit longer I love this color it's like a peach pink very pretty very very pretty definitely I like this just go light-handed well since I couldn't use the other highlighter I'm gonna use my favorite one which is this one up here by Colorina makeup studio okay so this is the gorgeous palette it's the ladybug glow in collaboration with ice cream beauty and this is the end of the rainbow palette isn't it just pretty the little pot of gold there and the nature scenes and everything so you know it's gonna be like a green theme palette and it is let me show you the ingredients in the back in case you're interested in that and these are the shades it brings a mirror let me go ahead and show you some swatches here are the six matte very pigmented so here are the three shimmers of uh, dual combs actually i should say it's gorgeous purple oh wow that blue one is stunning very very beautiful i can't wait to put this on my eyes and i'm definitely gonna do a green look because i haven't done a green look in a while i think and i love green eyeshadow <laughs> So I want to try those greens and I'm going to use that first shade called Lucky up here. 
So I've never tried this brand before. So I don't know how pigmented. Whoa, it's very pigmented. <laughs> I barely touched the eyeshadow. What? That's crazy pigmented. I love this green. But I've heard good things about this brand. I was super excited that it was gonna come in my ice cream beauty box because I wanted to try it out. So in case you didn't know, I have hooded eyes so I have to go above my natural crease so I can see the eyeshadow. Now I'm gonna deepen the outer corner with the darkest green. This one down here, it looks almost black but it's a dark green. Hopefully I don't get any fallout because I already did my face which I always forget to do my eyes first when I'm trying out a new makeup brand especially for eyeshadows because I never know if I'm gonna get fallout or not so I'm trying to be very very careful here wow that's very pigmented and I'm also going to put a little bit of that in the inner corner to do like a little halo look. I'm going to do that in the other eye and I'll be back. I already added my NYX glitter primer in the center so I can place the shimmer and I think I'm going to use this blue one here. I just think it's so freaking beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna use my finger for this. Look how gorgeous that is. It shifts from like pink to blue. It's stunning. I love that blue. That blue in the center, woo! So now I'm gonna use the same green, Lucky at the lower lash line and I think I'm gonna go in with one of my Colourpop's eyeliner the multi-chrome ones the one that's green because that's my favorite one ever since I got that one I've been using it non-stop with an angle brush like this I'm gonna take that dark green and put it really close down here and connect it at the top in the waterline this is the one that I'm talking about wild idea these are so creamy i love them i'm gonna put some falsies and mascara and i'll be back to try the lipstick this is the stina face velvet dream stick i love the packaging it's very pretty and it's like a brown shade even though it's a matte it's very creamy I love this. So this is the final look. What do you think? Let me know. This is the first look here, all completed. I love all the colors that I've tried so far. I'll be using it again, probably trying the bottom row. Down here, I'm very intrigued by this row right here. So I'll let you watch the next look.
okay so this is the second look that i did and i'm loving this palette this palette is so amazing honestly you could do so many looks with it you could do a neutral look like i did today which i didn't think was going to be possible because i thought this was going to be more like on a on a red side but it's like a brown which is perfect for neutral colors you could do bright colors like i did in the first look you could do like a sunset type of thing over here at that or a spring look or a summer look i mean it's great so I, i'm loving this i tried six of the nine shades and i love them all <laughs> they're easy to work with they're very pigmented and those chromes oh my gosh they're stunning they're so stunning they're great quality i can't wait to continue playing with it so stay tuned for those shorts in the near future so if you made it to the end of the video thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button while you're at it it helps me out a lot and i'll see you in the next video bye guys all right let's get crack a lacking it's the lady here we go it's the lady let me show you the ingredients in the back in case you're, in case you're interested especially for eyeshadows because i never know if i'm gonna get fall or fall out all right i all i already added pigmented formula that only gives the only ones that i haven't tried yet yet so stay tuned for the next okay? so stay